Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising and today we're doing April's monthly oracle card guidance and we have the cards here, the animal, um, the African animal messages, we have the, the druid plant oracle and we have the oracle of visions um, uh, deck of cards and so uh, please go ahead make a selection and uh, we can go directly to the reading. So for those of you who have chosen the option number one, uh, we are using the African animal messages and welcome to April. Uh, we are asking what is it that we need to know about April? What is it that we need to be aware of? And your first card has come through. It's awareness. Okay, so we have awareness, visibility, and strength for those of you who've chosen the option number one for April 2024. And we are asking, well, what do we need to know for the month of April? How can we be guided? Now, I think that these cards are really are a kind of residue from what has been happening in March and what has occurred in, in March. I think it's really a great time of um, of movement. There's been a great time of movement in March. And so April is the aftermath of that. I think there, while there might be physical movement and travel in April, the movement, the, the inner world will be quite still. And the inner world will be um, kind of regrouping in preparation for the changes that are to come. So I I, th I feel what's actually happened is that in March, there's been a real shifting, you know, like the shifting of tectonic plates almost in one's life. And so April is about really coming back to a standstill and understanding where it is that you uh, fit into your world and where it is that you, um, uh, yeah, you know, how it is that you think about the world. So there would have been great changes within you uh, that are in play, but take will take time for you to to actually take um, root. And and April, these cards here really very much speak of of that. So we have awareness, and I think the awareness of that, awareness of what's actually going on with you, what's going on with your personality, how are you changing, how are you tolerating the world now uh, what are you willing to accept and what are you not willing to accept the awareness of your own uh, evolution um, in terms of your personality in terms of your your entire um, approach to life and then you have visibility which I think is the ability to be able to see again so if you've been struggling with your intuition or you've been not as in touch with your intuitive world as you normally would be, then you're gonna find that the the that as you come into the center of April, you're gonna find that you're gonna be a lot more in touch with your intuition. It's almost as if somebody's taken a blanket off of you and uh, which has been on you maybe since. I don't know, for some of you, 2021, end of 2021, for others of you, 2022. And for some of you, it might only be the last two or three months. But it's like somebody takes a blanket off of you and now you're able to see, you're able to understand so much more. So this is awareness, this ability to feel, the visibility, the ability to see, and the strength that comes with it, um, that it comes as a result of it, actually. So as you end go towards the end of April, you have strength again in your life, which you might have been, you might have not necessarily had this uh, for a couple of months. For some of you, if you've been under the weather, if you've been feeling like you just don't have a lot of energy or you just don't have the focus that you started the year with and that's been eclipsed somehow 
in in March, not necessarily because of the eclipse energy that we've uh, we've we've had, but rather just because of other um, energies that are, are taking place. Well, that's all going to lift. Uh, the clouds are going to be cleared, and you're going to have strength to be able to embark upon um, a new journey, and that would be. Uh, as you come into the last 10 days of April. Now, when I say that, I think what's going to happen is at the end of April, or what's, what's actually happened is that in March, around or just before the equinox, about two weeks before the equinox, there's been seeds that have been planted. In fact, there might have been talk about these seeds in January or February, but then these seeds have been planted, and only now at the end of April are you going to be able to resume and stand up and be able to take action once again with regard to what has been planted. Now, I think that having said that, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are actually taking action in April. It might be that you just start that action in May, but you have the strength, the inner reserve to be able to do that. And that really comes because of the awareness that you that comes back to you uh, and the visibility that comes back to you. Now, why am I saying comes back to you? I feel like you have been very much aware in the past. You have been, it has been visible to you in the past, but now it seems like it comes back and there's a whole oomph behind it. There's this whole like energy behind it that's pushing it. And it's like there is no choice but to come into your truth again and to come into your your, your energy again so that you can actually move ahead. So I would say that for some who have felt like you have been in a kind of Mercury retrograde in your own life, but not just now in, in the times of the Mercury retrogates, but say from the end of this, well, like the end of last year for some of you, for some of you, it would have just have started in, in February or some of you, it would have been all of January. If you've been one of these people, then you kind of find that you are more easily uh, able to understand and accept and, 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 f and feel this energy shifting for you in April. But I want to say that I think that this is just inner stuff. Okay, it's just really happening on an inner level. Um, it's not necessarily going to, uh, excuse those sounds, it's not necessarily going to um, actually come out into the world and and be, you know, it's not going to be something that you're consciously thinking about necessarily. Like you're consciously going to be thinking about it now as you listen to this message but it's something that's going to happen behind the scenes to a large extent, and you not, might not even be aware of it. But what you are going to find is that as you come to June, July, August, you're going to be making decisions that are very different from the way you've done things previously. And you're going to be moving in a very different direction. And um, yeah, it's really signaling the change of, of your life. Now, if you haven't been feeling any of these things that I've just mentioned, if you have not had a feeling of a kind of Mercury retrograde earlier this year where your life has been almost moving backwards and you haven't been able to grasp onto things, if you haven't been feeling like you've lost, uh, your intuition has been dimmed in any way, or yeah, if you haven't been having any of those kind of symptoms, if you want to call it that, then I would say that as you come into... To April now as we've entered April you're just going to be a lot lighter in your being you're just going to have a lot more um, acute um, and a lot, lot more acute understanding of what is actually happening around you and you'll be going to be able to pinpoint things much more easily and to be able to grasp things much more easily and you're just going to be able to like cut through all the the, the nonsense almost to say just to be able to see what's actually going on here uh, like you're going to be able to understand your intentions of people you're going to be able to see the bigger picture and it's not going to be it's it's going to be a lot more um, efficient the way in which you look at the world than it has been previously and this is going to give you a strength and a, no a knowing and a knowledge that you don't necessarily have before it's going to be um 
uh, strength, well, strengthens this, the world, but it's almost, it's going to be taken to the next level, you know, it's all, I almost want to say it's been, it's been exacerbated, but, you know, in a good way, and, and this is going to, to bring about big changes. Now, what makes me very excited about April is that I feel like you are standing already since the equinox on a precipice. Uh, well, it feels like at the equinox we were still underground in a way, but as you stand at the beginning at now of April, I, I see for you that the next five or six months, especially the next, well, I would say four or five months, are going to be all these big changes that these cards are signaling underneath. And um, it's the underlying version of that. So I think that having said that, you have so much to look forward to. And uh, and I think you really need to, to think about where it is that you're headed to and be very, very focused on what it is that you actually want. Because if you're a bit scattered or if you have too many things that you want and you're not sure about what you want, then you're not going to have that degree of manifestation that this energy that we're looking at right now is bringing you. So just decide on one thing that you want for the next um, six months. It might be that you, or, or one thing that you want to put your energy behind over the next six months, and it might only happen next year or at the end of the year, but you are putting things in motion. And, you know, if it is that you want to change your apartment or you want to change your home, you want to buy a new house, you want to you, then put your energy all behind that. If it is that you want to do a trip, you want to do a trip, uh, you want to do some some kind of work or something like this, or you want to go somewhere, you want to travel somewhere, put all your energy behind that. Um, if it is that you want to change your work or you want to embark upon new work or you want to go back to old work, this is also a good time to start looking into that and thinking about how it is that you're going to be doing that and laying the seeds and the foundation for that because that is going to be uh, very possible. And so I think that it's, I just feel that with this type of energy that you are with right now, or the, those of you who have chosen this option one uh, do have, is it's like the beginning of the rest of your life. It's like you're willing you're ready to let go of things. And you might find that you have let go of things already. It, you might find that already beginning, you know, sometime around um, July last year or June, at the end of June, July last year, you would have let go of people. You would have let go of of ideas. You would have let go of, of goals. You might have even lost inspiration in your current work but and you're moving towards a new type of work or you're thinking about moving jumping ship or going to another company or going to another institution. Um, there's a lot of that kind of energy behind all of this. And I think that it can only serve to sharpen the purpose that your soul has. It can only serve to hone in on what it is that your soul needs to do in this lifetime. And I think that it's going to be amazing. And um. I'm just so, I feel so blessed and so honored to be able to be here to, to give you this message today. So in any case, I wish you a fabulous April. The things that are happening on a day-to-day -day basis in April are not as important. It may be that some of you are traveling. It may be that some of you are, uh, you know, just really putting, burying your head down into your work. It may be that some of you have family um, quarrels and squabbles and your attention is drawn in that direction or it may be that some of you have to make some big decisions with regard to a particular surgery or a particular uh, medical um, uh, path that you're going to be taken taking I'm not talking about that here because uh, even though those things are on the cards for you um, these cards here are telling me what to talk about and it and what I what I see is the the you as I said you standing on a precipice and heading in a direction where you are going to be, yeah you're going to be very happy if you put your eggs, if you if you focus in one in one, um on one direction. So I almost wanted to say like if you put all your eggs in one basket, it's like you need to be extremely focused and extremely, um behind whatever it is that you have decided to be behind and not wavering, okay? And that's when you'll have this outcome. Okay, so anyway, many, many blessings for you all. Wishing you all a fabulous April. Uh, enjoy it. Just go with the flow. 
um, develop your awareness, allow yourself to be more, to see more, to have that visibility that and that bird's eye uh, view that has been maybe um, evading, not evading you, but yeah, it's, you know, you haven't quite had the grasp of it um, in the last while and move forth with that strength and that knowingness and that confidence, actually. That's what it really is. It's kind of confidence uh, because you are going to be moving towards what it is, what it is that's important. And if just one last thing here, um, if it is that you haven't really been looking forward to anything, you don't actually have a plan in place, you're going along with your life and you just, you know, you just kind of want to like, what am I actually talking about here? Then I would suggest that you um, think about whatever shifts and changes that you'd like to have in your life because you are going to be going through that in the next few months and you can then, you know, take control of that and direct it in the way that you want it to. Okay, so many, many blessings to you all and much love and I have a fantastic week. For those of you who've chosen the second option, be asking, what, do we, what is it that we need to expect in the month of April? Those of you who've chosen this option number two, we have the burdock, we have nettle, and we have clover. And I would say that as we enter April, you've decided to take a non nonsense approach to things. You've decided that enough's enough, and that you you have got very firm boundaries. You have uh, you you know what you're willing to tolerate and what you're not willing to tolerate. It might be that you distance yourself from particular people because you just don't, can't tolerate them and their patterns and their behavior or their their method of relation, relating to you, whether it be their friendship or familial ties or even work-related ties. It could be like clients or people that you do business with, um, organizations that you do business with. You've decided that enough's enough and you're not going to tolerate any of that anymore. It's You've, you've come quite a long way already and it's it's something that you, it's almost like you've grown, you've matured and now you know what's good for you and what's not good for you. So if something has been a toxic influence in your life or has been a poisonous influence in your life on some level, if it's not been actually benefiting you and it's been taking away from you or taking off your path, then you are going to be separating um, the wheat from the, sh uh, the shaft or how does that saying go? Yes, you are going to be uh, separ separating yourself from whatever it does not serve you any longer. And you're going to be moving ahead and moving forward um, and embracing what it does that does impact you. Now, as you enter the middle of April, what you might find is that uh, as you go ahead, as you, you've embraced this energy of the burdock and it's, you know, you're not going to be tolerating any more nonsense so to say as you go into the middle of April what you might find is that you become or you represent something that may be quite prickly to others it, you might be it might be that people see you as being irritable or you you might find yourself as being irritable or you might feel like you you don't necessarily have a smooth exterior as you did it's like you are you're protecting yourself. You are um, putting an armor around you to protect yourself. And this is, I think it's a really important time, um, the second and the, the third week of April for you, because 
uh, so I would say from around the 10th of April to the 20th of April. Um, and uh, I think it's a really important time because there are processes that are going on underneath, which are really important. They were really, uh, um, you know, like almost shining, buffing you. And you're going to be, you're going to come out as golden uh, and re really a treasure. Okay. But the, on the exterior, it's like all this other stuff that is, like exhibiting itself where you might not feel as comfortable in the world or people may not see you as being the way you were previously. They may notice these differences in you that's coming across uh, that you're going to see in, 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 in the burdock as well as in the nettle. And uh, what I'm saying is that in April, if you have about 10 days or so where you may not feel completely yourself, where you may feel like you're undergoing some kind of transformation, you are undergoing great and very deep healing that needs to take place. It's almost like you need to exfoliate the um, the upper layer. You know, you need to wash that away or scrub that away. And underneath is going to be the shiny new exterior that's been waiting to come out and show the world. And as you come to the end of April, you have an amazing 10 days of uh, where this energy of the clover comes in, which is basically living um, in the lap of luxury. It's about having everything come the way that you want it to. It's about feeling all the joys and the luck that you have. It's it's really about being able to uh, live in the highest pinnacle of life as we have right now. And as this card comes into your world, you might find that things just start falling in place for you, or you just feel really happy with the world. It might be that um, you get a promotion or you r receive some, some money from somewhere, uh, you receive an inheritance, or it might be that you, um, you actually just are able to dip down into yourself because you've, you've, you've taken this approach here and because you've taken this time to heal because of that approach, you, you are able to just enjoy the, the benefits of having gone through all of that. So I, for me, I feel like April is quite a rounded month for you, where you're going to have a beginning, a middle and an end, which are quite different from each other. And where you are actually going to be experiencing the conclusion of something in this month that would have begun already and that you will see the 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 ending of it and the rewards that come out of it in the month for April. And I think it's going to be a really marvelous month for you, uh, April, uh, for those of you chosen the second option here. And uh, I would say also that um, as you start off the, the month and if you're feeling like you need to be a bit intolerant towards certain influences in your life, don't judge, judge yourself of that. Don't be harm. Oh, don't be harsh on yourself because of that. Just go with the flow because your inner wisdom and your soul need, knows what it needs to do in order to progress and to evolve at this given moment. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. You are choosing a path and a direction for yourself because you have a path way in the future. You have a point that you need to get to and your body is aligning itself. Your mind is aligning itself to get to that place. And while you do that, you may need to leave some people behind. You may need to leave people behind that are not going to accompany you on that journey. And so Burdock here, it's almost telling you, OK, we need to get rid of this. We need to get rid of that, whether it be people, whether it be uh, physical things. And of course, I mean, get rid of people. I don't mean actually getting rid of them. I mean, um, just, you know, removing yourselves from those relationships. And so I think that as you start April, you might find that you feel quite resolute about what it is that's going to stay in your life and what it is that's going to leave your life and uh, just go with the flow. And if you are feeling, as I said, a bit irritable, it, um, the nettle just brings so much of healing, you know, and it, it's also second chakra in my work as a medical intuitive. I found that the nettle works so well uh, with people who have things like with related to the second chakra. So fibroids, endometriosis, etc. And of course, this is not medical advice and you should consult your doctor. But, you know, sitting in a sit spa of nettle uh, along with some chamomile, for instance, uh, or having nettle tea, 
is so good for you if you are dealing with second chakra issues and it helps you just to shift that and your relationship to yourself and actually just to be able to honor the relationship that you have to yourself. And I feel that this whole energy year is very much about you being able to honor the relationship to you, that you have to yourself that may have been tampered with or may have been violated on some level or the other, on at some degree or the other, at some point in your life. And it's just about you being able to um, heal that and pick up the pieces in your life and to be able to move ahead f as a whole person once again and then you experience all these joys and all these blessings that come along at the end of april which is clover i think clover is the best card in this deck and and you have it here in your spread for this month of april so i would say enjoy it enjoy the process be gentle on yourself you are going through some transformation you are going through some healing and take it easy, be gentle on yourself, and enjoy the process. Okay, wishing you all a fabulous April. May you have many, many blessings, and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who have chosen the third option, we're using the Oracle of Visions cards. And we're asking, what can we expect in the month of April? So hello to those of you who have chosen option three. Um, we are using the Oracle of the Visions uh, deck of cards. And we look at April. And I see as we enter April, there's a need to take, uh, to step out of a situation. Or in, in the way that you might just need to not respond or not react to something. To be, you need to be able to have a distance from whatever is going on. It may be that you just need to step back and observe what is happening without reacting to it at this given moment. Um, if you do that, you're going to be able to find that you have a lot more information, that you're able to understand a lot more things, and it's going to bring you a degree of clarity that you won't necessarily have if you're in the midst of it or in the mix of things. It's a time that also calls for isolation. It may be a time where... Um, you call to go to a space where there's a water body, uh, the ocean or a river or a lake or somewhere where you are able to find um, the calm and the serenity of water energy. So it might be even a place that's foggy or misty. Um, there's a sense of being able to immerse yourself in that world to be able to access the energy and the the wisdom that comes with that water energy it's almost like the water spirits need to speak to you there might be you might be feeling a need to isolate yourself or to pull yourself away in order to reflect but you may be forced to be with people during this time uh, so in that case once again just take a step back i think that as you come into april or as we are in april in the first 10 days of april you're going to find that things get a lot clearer for you and you may be um, more aware of people's intentions, of what their wishes are and how it may impact you poorly or how it may impact you at on any level at all. And so there's a need to just be quiet in yourself and to be able to observe what is happening rather than to react to things. So if you are being taunted in a particular way and you feel that you need to respond to it or you need to um, react to that, if you need to argue, you should just avoid doing that. It's not the right time for that because you need to just be in a space of peace and serenity and 
and then you can see clearly what is actually happening okay so that is the first that is what i would see for the first 10 days of april i also think that alongside that um there's an opportunity for you while accessing this water energy while being at one with the water energy to be able to understand oneself on a deeper level and to be able to understand your own sensitivities and your own uh, proportions of of emotions, uh, like how you respond to things, how you um, feel about certain things, how you actually re react to things on a long term basis because of a certain emotion that you may have in at, at a short on a top, at a, you know in the short term, and how it may impact you in in, the, in along the way. I think it's also an important time for you to be able to take time for yourself and just be able to regroup or um, connect yourself to the, the energy and draw strength from the elements, whether it's, you know, whichever element that you feel aligned to, whichever element gives you strength. And it will differ uh, for different people. Although for, I think for some of you, it will definitely be the water element and you may be drawn to that. If you feel that you're not able to have that in the first 10 days of April, you might find that as you enter the second week, uh, the, the second 10, uh, part of April, well, the second, from the 10th to the 20th of April, that especially in the first few days till the 13th or the 14th, till the 13th, I would say actually, that you're able to access what it is that you need or what it is that this card here is referring to and um and what it is that you that serenity it's just a place that you need to go to in yourself in order to be able to understand what is needed and um and you, yeah it's almost like you need to go there to regroup to be able to access your own energy and to be able to align yourself and bring yourself into balance so that you can come back and face whatever it is that you've been doing. So for some of you, it might just be that you take yourself away from reality for an afternoon and go and sit at a lakeside or at a pond and look at some ducks and just relax. Or maybe you decide to go camping in a remote area at the beach or you, you it's, I feel like you're not going to be doing it at a hotel or something like this, you know, or you might decide to rent a house somewhere or a place somewhere and take yourself there or go and visit uh, a friend that lives at the seaside, but have a lot of time where you are at the seaside by yourself or at a water body. I mean, sorry, a body of water, excuse me. Um, so at a lakeside or something like even the river, or even a huge pond, there's some strength that needs to be drawn from that serenity. Okay, I feel like I've repeated myself here. So let me move on to the next card. Uh, we have uh, the card 44. So the first card is 16 and then 44 and then you have 11. I think the numerology of these cards are also quite uh, impactful. So I think that the 16 is, uh, the, that is the, the first card is very much about the, the solitary experience. Whereas the 44 is very much about coming into your own and just being able to, you have a social, uh, it has a social aspect to it, but they're not part of you. They're almost watching you or being, um, or being an audience to your own development and your own growth. And you're not averse to having people around you as it does show in the first card here. It's like you are able to understand who you are and have this confidence in yourself and have energy around you that you're flowing with all these swans here and it's actually okay to be in that it's okay to get back into the mainstream it's okay to get back into the um the flow of things where you are going to have people around you and energies around you but having having had this process you're able to uh, move forth with a lot more dignity and a lot more not knowing um, that you might just have inside of you only. In the first part of the month, in the first 10 days of the month, it's like you need to step away and retreat from people. In the second half, in the second 10 days of the month, it's you, you share values and goals. You share a journey with others. 
you may be moving in the same direction with others. You are not swimming upstream, I mean, against the stream, but you are swimming with the stream. Yeah. Um, I feel like you come within the confines of thought and community. Um, and while it offers protection, it also uh, draws you in to a sense of security and um, it doesn't leave you out in the wild, in a desolate space where your your thoughts are wild and running wild and you are um, at a loss for, for a connection. As you enter the second 10 days of April, from the 10th to the 20th, connection is something that is really valued. It's something that's really uh, developing and it, it serves you as well as others. It's not just something that you feel that you are forced into or you are made to be a part of or you have to do things. It's something that you want to do. You want to interact with other people. So I would say that maybe in March, there were times when you felt like you needed to step away from things and you needed to have this break here. And then you get back into April and you feel like things are just flowing once again. And it feels like that's the energy that we are moving on from. All right, so as you come to the end of the month, you have the card, the 11, and I feel like you actually are in a really great space. Um, as you start moving, you're gaining your wisdom here, you're moving with the flow here with others, you're connected to others, and as you enter the last 10 days from the 20th to the 30th, you actually have come to a place where you are in harmony, you're in balance, and uh, not just with others, but with all of the universe. You are in balance with your soul, you're in balance with, with the world, you are in a really good space within yourself. And I feel like you are, you, you can actually just take the lead. You can actually go ahead and be the one who shows others the way to, to move along. You are actually able to delight in what it is that you do and you are able to, um, you know, almost bring the music to a particular set of circumstances, whether it be literally or just in terms of bringing lightness and bringing warmth and harmony and allowing that connectivity that you've been developing here to shine through. I also just feel that it's going to be a lucky time for you and that abundance is going to flow and you, it just feels like a lot of like opportunity de delivers itself. It's like, you, almost like you have the harvest of what you've been dealing with in the last few weeks, not just in April, but also in May, I mean March. And you, you have that harvest here and you're able to just enjoy that and just really, um, uh, just really partake of all the goodness that exists there for you. Um, yeah, I feel also that it's really a card of being in harmony with others. It really is a card where you have to play along with others. You have to, it's, it's not, you may be going solo for a while here and then you connect with others and you may want to continue going solo, but it's like you have to march to the beat of uh, these drums and where there's a particular pulse that's flowing through the community or through the people that you have to be a part of. And it's not going to be to your detriment. It's actually going to be um, to, it's really going to, going to benefit you. So this card is in complete contrast to that card here because this is calling for isolation and here is talking about being part of community, being in sync with, um, you know, moving away from uh, discord or conflict and allowing you to be in tune uh, with with others. So I think um, as you come into May, you're going to have a good balance of social activity as well as a, a good balance of uh, harmony in your life and strength and knowledge and knowing and confidence that we have here. And it's going to be look very different from the way you started April. 
yeah, so I wish you all a fabulous April and many, many blessings to you all. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising and have a blessed time until we meet again.